Greetings traders, Robert from Let's Start Day Trading. Wanted to share something with you, this lattice strategy that I've been working on. It's just about done. The last testing phases, I have a few levels worked out, but I need to add the rest of them in. Uh, anyway, it's very similar to the quantum ladder strategy. And the quantum ladder, which is, is not mine, uh, for full disclosure, it was uh, for a member. Uh, the quantum ladder strategy is you would enter in the opening price of the market right when the market opens. In this case, it would be 6 p.m. Eastern time. And you would write in that, that opening price. And most of you look up here, uh, see it stays. There we go. 16,739.25. And then it would give you the remaining levels based on the formula behind the quantum ladder strategy. Well, for a little more flexibility, I decided to take kind of the core of that and build this lattice strategy. And the lattice is that you can create your own levels. And they're generated on the amount of texture you are risking, okay, the, your maximum risk that you place on any trade. So as soon as you calculate your risk and say, well, I want, this is a 15 point loss if I, if I lose it. And then you choose your risk reward ratio. In this case, I'm choosing five. Now it's not going to be a good ratio, but I needed to grab something wide enough to actually not make a profit so I can make sure that it got stopped out. So this is what I used in this particular case. Um, the other thing is that this start price it, it can be at any time of the market. It does not need to be the open price. This is a very specific formula for the quantum ladder strategy. This is not. This is just taking, all right, wherever you're starting the market at, uh, the, the open here, if you come in you know, uh, at the London session or you know, half an hour after the US session, you just go to the settings, enter in the starting price, enter in you what you want for, well, number of contracts, obviously, maximum risk you're willing to take on a trade, and then your risk reward ratio. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna start this right now, and this is, um, you can see the dates here if you, if you wish to look it up. I already marked off these levels because once I put this here and I click run, what it's going to do is take this and calculate the levels. Here's our first short level, 776.25. And then our first long level, if it goes down first, so it's gonna come down, pick a long and go the other direction. That is a, it's a reversion strategy. Well, what I was noticing is if this market comes up here, let me speed this up a little bit, get some more candle room here. I know that the first trade comes on about 11 o'clock uh, <laughs> right up here. So I've run this so many times. I'm going to get it closer. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll let that run. What I noticed that if the market came up and ended up pushing through this and kept going, the strategy doesn't do very well because it just enters here. The stop loss is so tight. I mean, this is only a 60 tick stop loss, 15 point stop loss on, on uh, NQ. It's, it's not much. So what I noticed is if it came up here and got stopped out right away, it just kept going. And then it would enter here, get stopped out right away and keep going. So it was getting kind of beat up on a trend day. So what I did in this case is I, if the market came up here, entered short, got stopped out, it's immediately going to take a long and ride that long up to the next level, almost the next level. It takes about 80% of the trade. So let's just assume the stop out was 10 points it will immediately enter a long position and it would have an eight point target. The reason I made it a little smaller is because I didn't want it to go past the next level. So it's currently in a long, and if, if the target for the long was up here, it's gonna get confused by going short at this level as it should. So I, I backed it off a little bit. Now let's just see what this looks like um, as we run through the market. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Again, this is around 11 o'clock and I'll try to do this as, as uh, seamlessly as possible. <clears throat> There we are. Okay, now we'll let this run up and we'll see what will happen. Just about 11. Pause, okay. One other thing I wanna mention is it's not the break of this level that it goes short. It breaks this level by a small margin and notice it is a sell stop order. So this order will not be filled unless the market comes down, okay? Again, the reason I did this is I found out that 
if I entered a, a short as soon as it crossed this level and the market kept pushing, it just blew right through. Bam, you get stopped out and just keeps running and going. This way here, it never enters this position. And it would, in that case, it would not get stopped out. And in that case, it wouldn't need to recover the long, cover that loss. So this is specifically why I did this. I'm gonna see if I can slow this down a little bit. Now we have to wait. See, this is a stop order. There we go. And now we are in a trade. So now here's our short. And again, I moved this so far down here, the target five for one. Um, it's, it's not gonna reach it. And it'll, it'll get stopped out just so I can prove this concept here. Um, and it gets stopped out around 2.30 a.m. So let me speed this up. Okay, I'm gonna really slow this down. Okay, so now uh, by rights is if this gets stopped out, as soon as it stops this and clears, it should take a long and put a recovery in. And you can actually see it. This is a short level one entry, which is where it showed it. And the next one will actually be the recovery for it. So I know that it's around 2.30. <clears throat> Let this go a little bit faster. I'll try to pause it as soon as it hits. And almost there. Okay, there it is. If you saw that, it closed one position. As soon as it popped up a little more, it entered by a market order. And notice the target is a little bit behind here. It's 804, this is 806. Because I didn't want to, again, didn't want to give it the entire amount recovery. We can see the short level one. It's a short level one. It's a stop loss recovery. I may change the wording on this, but this gives me a, a clear understanding of what I'm looking at. So what happens here? <clears throat> this can be stopped out. If this market does turn around, it will be stopped out and you, you will get a loss on this particular position. But what I found is it's generally not the case. I don't recall when this actually hits, so let me speed this up. Back and forth. Oh yeah, that's right, it drops down a little bit first. <clears throat> okay. And let's push that up a little bit more. There we go. All right, now we close our trade. So what happened? We took our first short, we got stopped out, we immediately switched very long, and we recovered 80% of that, and we're only down 60. So this worked out perfectly. The same thing here. Now, if it breaks this level, it, it has a buffer up here. So once it breaks this level, it has to go beyond it. It has to remain there for five seconds. Otherwise, it's not gonna put the stop loss or the, the sell stop on here. Again, the reason I'm doing this is too many times when the market is pushing like this, like if this case, imagine if this was this, this entry, it just blew right through it. So I want it to break up here. There's a buffer zone in this area. It needs to hang out there for, for five seconds. It's, it just calculated on a five second candle. And then it will place a stop loss or the not stop loss, the, the sell stop order at this particular level. And this would be short level two, 16806.5, 16806.5. And I just manually drew these lines on here to give us a reference. So let's fast forward. Let's see if I can catch it once it breaks. Okay, almost. There we go. 806.5, it's at 806. Okay, and I just saw that it was, at, this is a 15 minute chart by the way, and if you look at the, the time, and I'm doing it at 400X right now. So once it broke this level and it cleared this little zone area, this little buffer area, um, it placed the short sell stop, it still, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, a sell stop order to short it. It's in a short now. And let's see what runs. <clears throat> and again, this is a big ratio down here. And these are all calculated on the fly. And uh, the reason I did this, um, the first ones, is that we needed a little bit more room for for level one and level two. So let's just, let's say the market open and it ended up going short at this level one. If it's too close to long level one, it would just get, uh, if, if, if your target was after it, it would just be confused. It's trying to sell it, uh, cover when it comes down here, but then go long beforehand. It just, it wasn't working. So I spread out level one, level two to actually twice the size of this. Every one of these levels, if you notice is here to here, 
here to here like that. And this next one would be up here. They're the same distance apart. Um, 30, <laughs> right? The, uh, the maximum amount, but this one here is, uh, it's going to be 60 across because it's, it's twice the amount. It's going to be 120 because it's, it's, uh, twice the amount. So, all right, let's bring this up a little further, a little faster. Um, I think this one, yeah, this one brings us, I believe, into the U.S. Open time frame, which we know we don't trade the first three minutes of the U.S. Open. And I believe this, there was a stop out and there's a reason for it. Now, this would be really cool if, if this was just closer because we, we'd be recovering all of our, our money now. We would have actually won the first one if we had a standard ratio, you know, two to one, three to one, four to one. But you can put it on there, put one trade on, and it will calculate it. Now, if, if you're down that far and this dropped and you're in this trade, <laughs> just close it out. All right, let me go really fast with this because I do want to get stopped out at that next level. <clears throat> if I remember, it drops up and down a few times here. But again, oh, oh uh, okay. So there it is. It cleared, it got its stop out, and now it needs to break this level in order for it to go long. So I don't wanna just take a long instantly. If I take a long instantly, we can get stopped out real quick. It's gonna break, get into that buffer area. And then it will take a long, like that just like that okay now this is going to be long there's our target because we want to take our profit before we end up going short in the other direction and there's our stop loss so this was just a quick demo as to how it works and the reasoning behind it uh, if you notice here there are eight levels i have three here but i do need to fix the coding on it and uh, copy these over and then i will release it to the group i uh, hope that explains everything the lattice strategy